Hello, my beautiful darling loves. Welcome to your love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Leo only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to check out my other channels, I do have a Virgo and Cancer only channel. I have my main channel, Tarot of Light, and then uh, Divine Spirit Healing 1111. The links to all of those are below. Readings can be vice versa so flip it twist it reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation um, please be sure to like share comment and subscribe click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced um, I uh, choose two winners on the first of every month for a three question emergency reading uh, just hashtag reading to enter to win um, if you are looking to start your own tarot channel or if you are looking to learn how to read tarot you can check out my tarot tutorial the link is below it's about two and a half hours long um, so loves right now I'm open for video readings um, I have shut down phone readings just temporarily uh, for those of you who don't know um, I did lose my uh, little puppy buddy um, he was 13 years old but he passed on Tuesday March 12th um, so it's been a very difficult week for me. Thank you so much for your love and condolences when I posted um, that that happened. He is here with us. I got three urns. I got one here. I've got one in the living room and one in my bedroom. So he's still here with us. But um, until my emotions kind of, uh, you know, balance themselves out, I'm not going to be taking phone readings. Um, uh, I will open them back up again. It's just temporary. Okay. Um, all right, my love. So let's get pop in here and let's see what we have for my little lion cubs. Please, spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Tell me about Leo please okay so we've got nature we've got options and we've got unstable okay so leo you're dealing with someone here that likes to be out in nature okay so this person may be into sports camping outdoors hiking um they tell you that they're going out with a, having a guy's night or a girl's night going out and doing these things but i feel like when they're doing this they're actually out casually dating okay um with unstable here leo you may find this person's energy when they come back home to be very chaotic and very messy okay um some of you okay may actually end up catching like um infections and stuff like that like this person goes on a camping trip for the weekend with their friend okay and uh then they come back and out of nowhere you end up getting some type of you know infection in the genital area um or their energy just seems very chaotic and weird to you it feels like it's a different person when they come back home that's because when this person goes out on these little excursions okay where it's just the guys or just the girls going hiking doing whatever weekend getaway um they're actually entertaining other options okay yeah, this person with loyalty and desire, it's, you know, they'll tell you that they're loyal to you. They come off as extremely loyal. They come off as a homebody, you know, a good old, good old girl, good old boy or whatever. But in reality, this person um, has a lot of sexual fantasies that they play out when they go to these camping trips, hiking trips, you know, fishing trips, whatever it is that they do, they're out there entertaining other options okay and i feel like it's not just your person so this could be uh, this is what something like this would look like okay um you know let's just say you're a girl and you have a boyfriend okay and this boyfriend has like three other friends and it's a group of four guy friends and they all have girlfriends they're all married they all have kids they all have whatever right and they go away on these trips and all the girlfriends all the wives will tell you oh the boys they they love going out doing these things whatever you know and we do our little girls night when they go we all get together and do our girls night when they go right okay it might look something like that but all four of these men will go and go to strip clubs go entertain other options have sex with other people so i feel like it's not just your person it's like a group and and that could be vice versa you know take the gender as, that's just an example you see virgo all right so let's see what we have. did i say virgo leo did you see what i was saying leo okay some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about Leo. 
we've got the judgment card and we've got the tower Ooh, the high priestess and the five of swords tell me about virgo please why did I keep saying Virgo? Tell me about Leo, please. We've got the devil here and the queen of cups. So Leo, I think that something's about to happen here. Something is about to happen here. The star card and the eight of swords. Um, these people are going to get arrested for something. If they're buying prostitutes, uh, you know, if they're, they're, they're hiring prostitutes or hiring strippers or, um, you know, th they're going to end up getting caught. They may get arrested for this. Okay. And it's going to be public. It's going to be public. Like people are going to know about this. Like this might actually end up like in a newspaper or on the news or something, uh, that, you know, like, let's just, again, example, these four guys, you know, got caught, you know, in a car looking for straight, you know, I don't know. It's going to be like, people are going to know about it. Okay. People are going to know about it. Um, I feel like once this secret comes out, Leo, you're going to be just so embarrassed that you're going to walk away. Um, you're going to feel emotion. You're just going to feel like these people that they're evil, like they're evil. Like how can you sit here and come home and tell me you love me and smile at me. And meanwhile, you're into this toxic stuff. Something is going to happen here where this truth is going to get exposed. And with the tower and the judgment card, this could be that they're ending up in front of a judge. I feel like someone here is getting into some type of legal trouble. Um, these people may go out claiming that they're going into nature, going fishing, doing whatever. For some of you, these people could be doing drugs and they got caught copping, uh, copping drugs tell me about the judgment card. Like they go for a weekend, you know, they go for a weekend getaway and they get all coked up during the weekend and rent strippers or whatever, you know, uh, seven of swords and the judgment card. Yeah. These are people that, you know, they're tell me about the tower and the sun. There's going to be a tower for these people and it's going to expose everything. Pisces, Capricorn energy, Leo energy, Aries, Scorpio energy, Sag energy, Aquarius energy. Yeah, they're going to get caught in the act. They're about to get caught red-handed. Red-handed. Tell me about the high priestess and the four of cups. I feel like, Leo, initially, you're not even going to believe it. When you get the phone call or whatever, you know, you're just not even going to believe it. You know, you don't want to believe it. Five of swords here and the five of pentacles bond you out. You have lost your mind. Are you insane? Mental illness here with instability. You have lost your mind. You can rot in there. Yeah, I feel like this person may call you Leo, telling you to, asking you to, um, you know, bond them out or bail them out or whatever. Leo, you are gone. This person is not going to come home and find you sitting there. Tell me about the devil and the empress. Yeah, this is someone that has addictions, Leo. Um, this is someone that's got, you know, uh, either drug addictions, prostitute addictions, stripper addictions, you know, going out to bars, picking up people, whatever, you know, they want the wifey or the hubby that sits at home while they go out and do this behind your back. I feel like you may love this person tremendously, Leo, but you're walking away. You cannot believe that this person had a whole nother face. Like they, you just can't believe that they were living like a whole nother life. Like this person would go on these trips and it seems innocent enough. I feel like many of you may have even said, oh, you know, yeah, these guys or these girls with these fishing trips, camping trips, hiking trips, weekend cabin getaways or whatever, they're just too much. But you know, it's better than having someone that's out in the club every night. Is it though? Because these, this, uh, you know, they're not really where they say they are. That it seems innocent enough. It seems innocent enough, but it's not innocent at all. What they're doing is not innocent at all. If someone goes on hunting trips, like, oh, the guys are going hunting, uh, you know, this weekend. I'm going hunting with the guys. I'm going hunting with the girls. Um, you know, we're, we're going to go do this this weekend. And meanwhile, you know, they're all over the place doing drugs, having sex, doing whatever. Tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about Leo, please. Yeah, we, the, you are not reconciling with this person at all. No reconciliation is to be had. Leo, we have offended here. So insulted, hurt, annoyed, but it literally came out in the reverse. You're not even offended. Like you go through a period of being insulted, offended, hurt by this, but then you're just like, I, I don't even care. 
Yeah, like I, I just don't even care. You, you go from being so hurt, you just end up going from zero to sixty. You, you, you know, at first you were hurt, offended, whatever, and then you just said, you know, I'm not even gonna focus on this at all. This isn't even worth my time. Tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about Leo. Yeah, I, I feel like the weight of this, the shock of this, was just too heavy for you, Leo. So you end up just releasing it and healing from it. By the time this person gets to you to attempt a reconciliation, you just don't care about this at all. Yeah, Queen of Swords and the Hierophant. You are absolutely not out to fix this commitment, this marriage, nothing. You want a divorce. You know, if you're married, you want to divorce this person with the World card and the Nine of Pentacles and the Death card there's no chance in hell there's this person can tell you whatever they want to tell you promise that they're going to be loyal promise that they're going to you don't care you do not care leo you are not there's not a chance in hell after this truth comes out that you will ever 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 trust this person again yeah i i think that leo it, it's just too much for you to handle it's too much for you to handle, for you to try to overcome, for you to try to understand, you know, who this person, like, if you might feel like you don't even know who this person was, like, I don't even know you, you know, I don't even know you guys might live a quiet little lifestyle with this person. And then you come to find out that they're like a drug addict or not even, I don't think that they have addictions on a daily basis. I think it's more like a weekend thing. So it would have to be something like along the lines of cocaine or something like that. Um, you know, it's like, I don't even know you, you know, I don't even know you. So Leo, I mean, I do think they're going to come back after a period of time. They are going to want to reconcile King to the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Swords. It's over. I want a divorce. I want you out. I want whatever. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles, um, if you have a child with this person, you will get um, alimony or you will get the house. You will get child support. Whatever you want, <coughs> the judge will grant it to you. If you're legally married to this person, the judge will grant it to you because I feel like you literally, um, in, when you're going through an actual divorce, the only way where you get everything that you want is if you can prove to the judge that your person actually cheated and you've got more than enough proof because I think that this person's getting arrested. They're getting arrested for, you know, uh, hiring prostitutes or, you know, something. I don't know. Tell me about the world card, please. The three of pentacles and temperance. Leo, you just want to be alone. You just want to... Strong Virgo energy. Some of you may be Virgo rising or have Virgo in your chart. Um, three of pentacles and the temperance card. You just want to focus on healing. And it's interesting, Leo, because remember how I said there was three other people? Uh, like, let's go back to the example, Leo, that I gave you at the beginning. Like, you and those three other women may come together and help heal each other, you know, because it's it's going to be you and, like, a couple other people that go through this experience because I feel like your person goes on these trips with other friends. So you may have people that are going through the exact same thing that you're going through, um, and you guys might help each other heal. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles here and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, Leo, I see you going out, having a good time, you know, you're, you want to be single um page of wands the emperor and the ten of wands and the five of wands uh it's going to make this person crazy seeing you out there and dating and doing all these things it's going to make this emperor energy crazy okay so you could be married to this person you may have children with this person um it's your turn now leo you know this person had fun going out you know doing all these things behind your back and now you're going to go do it and you're going to do it right there on social media in front of their face. Get dressed up nice, date, go out, you know, especially for those of you who have children with this person. It's like you would leave me home alone with our kids all weekend while you went and did this. Well, have fun now because it's your weekend to pick up these kids and I'm going to go, go, you know, hit the club. I'm going to go out and drink and I'm going to go out looking nice and do my thing. So have fun watching me shake this ass, you know, type of thing. So Leo, this person is... Uh, they're about to be caught red-handed. All right, let's go ahead and do Leo and all 12 signs. Give me a sec, guys. Let me just pick all this up. Okay, tell me about Leo, please, and all 12 signs. Tell me about Leo, please, and all 12 signs, Aries to Pisces. Leo, please, and all 12 signs, Aries to Pisces. 
Leo, please, and all 12 signs, Aries to Pisces. Leo, please, and all 12 signs. Okay. If we're dealing with an Aries, we've got confusion, intuition, shocking, and trap. Leo, if you are dealing with an Aries, yeah, shocking and trapped. This could be someone where you're getting a shocking phone call that they are stuck somewhere, you know, that they got arrested. Um, I feel like your intuition maybe knew that something like this was going to happen with confusion. Your intuition was telling you something was wrong, but you didn't know exactly what it is. You're about to get a shocking phone call. So this reading could be about an Aries. If we're dealing with a Taurus, we've got peace, we've got resistance, we've got broken, and we've got mistake. Uh, Leo, this Taurus does want to make peace with you, okay? Um, this person may tell you, listen, I know that I hurt you, but can you not focus on that? I made a mistake. They want you to suppress your pain to be with them. If we're dealing with a Gemini, we've got memories, we've got one day, we've got pride, and we've got pain. So Leo, if you're dealing with a Gemini, this is someone that misses you terribly. This is someone that's sitting in an energy of one day we'll be together again. This person is sitting in ego and they are afraid to approach you for reconciliation, but they feel that one day you will cross paths again. If we're dealing with a cancer, we've got open heart, apology, bluff, and breaking point. Um, so Leo, if you are dealing with a cancer, I feel like an apology is coming in here. I feel like it's, it looks like it's an open, honest, vulnerable apology, but it's a lie. If you take, it's either you're not going to take the reconciliation, Leo, because you're done with this person, or um, you may go through this one more time with this person and that'll be the last time. If we're dealing with another Leo, we've got exhaustion, we've got loyalty, cloudy judgment, and possibilities. Leo, if you're dealing with another Leo, this person may have been loyal up till now, or it is a strain for this person to be loyal in their relationships. And I feel like this person's tired of being loyal. They want to take a risk. They want to have some fun. And they're about to um, make a bad decision. If we're dealing with a Virgo, we've got influences, we've got only you, fantasy, and conflict. Uh, Vir uh, excuse me, Leo, if you're dealing with a Virgo, this Virgo has you in a third party situation. They have you living this fantasy where it's you and only you and they just want you. Um, but I feel like, Leo, you're starting to ask questions and you guys are going to clash. Um, you guys are going to clash. If we're dealing with a Libra, we've got hopeless, we've got return, we've got elusive and second chance. Um, Leo, uh, Leo, this Libra feels that the situation is hopeless. They may have cheated on you. They want a second chance. I mean, we've got return and second chance, both reconciliation cards. Um, they're feeling that it's hopeless, that they're never going to get you back. Maybe you're just not forgiving this person. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, we've got rejection, we've got divine feminine, we've got beginnings and chasing. Virgo, if you are dealing with a Scorpio, um, someone here is ghosting the other person because they are starting a new beginning with a divine feminine. So this could be someone here maybe releasing a Scorpio karmic and moving towards a divine feminine energy. If we're dealing with a Sag, we've got intimacy, family, past life, and distance. Um, Leo, if you are dealing with a Sagittarius I feel like this person might get someone pregnant um, and they may distance themselves from you uh, to go you know pursue that situation where they someone here got pregnant to have a family but they they're having a child with a karmic so this person's going to end up regretting this decision if we're dealing with a Capricorn we've got hoping we've got distracted we've got commitment and divine masculine I'm sorry, guys. Every once in a while, my emotions, I just want to like cry, you know, so just give me a second. My emotions are like, sometimes it just hits me. Okay. <sighs> okay. Um, Leo, if we're dealing with a Capricorn, hoping distracted commitment and divine masculine, um, there is a home wrecker here that's hoping to get someone's husband or, you know, it's, it's like someone here is hoping to destroy a connection to get a husband or a wife or a man or a woman out of a connection. 
if we're dealing with an Aquarius, we've got chemistry, we've got withdrawn, we've got nourish and sorrow. Um, Leo, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, this is just sexual, and I think that it's really going to hurt. So you're pulling your energy back to heal yourself. Um, you know, you may feel the loss of this person, but you're realizing it was just passion. It was just lust, not love. If we're dealing with a Pisces, we've got realizations, we've got shallow, we've got abandon and escaping. Leo, if you're dealing with a Pisces, you may be realizing that this person is very shallow. If something better comes along or if something that they deem to be better comes along, they will ghost you or ignore you and pay attention to that individual. So you might be uh, seeing a side of this person that you've never knew was there. Okay. All right, guys, um, that's what I got for you. I love you so much and I will see you soon. Take care.